My name is Corinne Boomer. I'm an equine veterinarian and I'm a rider at the South African Bazaars. And we're here today just to check one of the horses to see if the horse is unsound, or in other words, lame. And uh, for that, we will see the horse trotting from the side first. We look at the horse's head carriage. Is the head moving up and down as the horse takes a stride? That's not right. It shouldn't ever do that. And then we look at the, the legs. Are the feet landing in an even, regular rhythm? Is a foot stepping shorter? Is a foot stepping wider? Is the horse swinging his legs out or swinging his legs in? Anything like that. Um, also, if you're looking at the hind leg, is the one leg stepping shorter or is it stepping the same as all the others? And if you look at this horse now, you can see that he doesn't have a head bob. The head is even. It's carried perfectly fine all the way while the horse is trotting. And uh, you can see that his footfall is even. He's got a regular one, two, one, two, one, two rhythm. And uh, none of the legs are stepping very obviously shorter or longer. And the horse looks quite comfortable. It goes quite happily with the rider. It's not a problem at all. Then we look at the horse from behind and see him trotting away from us. And we look at the hips. Are the hips even? Do they move up and down at the same, same level? Or does one hip drop significantly? Also look at the tail. This horse carries his tail a little bit to the side. That is normal for this particular horse. Um, it might be an indication of a muscle tightness somewhere. That's something one would have to investigate if you notice a lameness. Again, we look at the horse's head. Do we see a noticeable head bob or don't we? And in this case, the horse's head is perfectly fine. Then as the horse turns around and trots away to the back towards us, we look at the head again, having a look whether the horse's head is dropping on when one foot lands or not. And again, in this case, the horse is looking absolutely perfectly fine, sound. And uh, sometimes if some people find it harder to see it like that. Other people find it easier to see it like that. When you look past the horse's head, you can see his hips yet again moving up and down. And the head is a nice level of measurement that you can compare the hips on either side. And uh, again, in this horse's case, there is no unsoundness whatsoever. So we're very happy. Um, this horse being a solo horse and uh, quite a hard worker will benefit from things like um, Iceman cooling gel that we put on his tendons and his joints after work, sometimes even before, because it increases blood circulation. And uh, it also helps to get the blood into the muscles if you apply it onto the gluteus muscle, onto the triceps muscle, wherever the horse has stiffnesses. If you now see that your horse is not moving evenly, so he either has a head bob or his hips are moving in an uneven fashion, one lower than the other, then you have a problem. Your horse is probably lame. And it's probably a good idea for you to get the vet to have a look at the horse and see where the lameness comes from and how the lameness should be treated. X-rays may be necessary, scans may be necessary, or nerve blocks. But now, of course, these things always happen on the weekend. And uh, the horse is not particularly lame. You can do a little bit of first aid. And uh, just determining which, horses, which of the legs the horse is unsound on, you can apply Iceman to the legs. 85% um, of lamenesses in the horse are in the front leg in which case you will see a head bob, and 85% of lamenesses are, in fact, the fetlock and below. So if you're in doubt and you're not sure, by all means, apply some Iceman to the front fetlocks. You cannot go wrong with it, provided that there is not a wound and you have no intention of bandaging over it. If the horse is lame behind, you will see an unevenness of the hips. And again, the chances are that your lameness comes from either the fetlocks or the hocks. So again, you can apply Iceman to those areas that you're suspicious of. The other thing that's very useful is to run your hands down the horse's leg and feel if you can feel any infamiliar bumps, any swellings, any heat. Those are all signs of inflammation. And again, if you feel that, by all means, put some Iceman on and uh, hopefully that will just alleviate the symptoms a little bit until the vet can come and have a look at your horse and diagnose it properly.